Clark, and I'm the Associate Director of the Greenway Foundation. I'm hanging out at Spree Headquarters today, and I was wondering, what happens to all that water that goes down the drain? When I wash my hands, when I flush the toilet, where's that water go? So today, I'm going to get on the trail, and I'm going to try and find out. I'm on the South Platte River, just north of Dartmouth Avenue, at the Littleton Inglewood Wastewater Treatment Plant. So, let's go in and check that out. How does it fish it out down there? Um, it's basically, there's an arm down below that goes back and collects the material from the screens, brings it up, and uh, runs it through a grinder. And so all the water is running through a screen. It, it doesn't get past here without going through the screen? Correct. And then once it lifts it out of there, it grinds it up? Yep, it's ground up, it's pumped upstairs for washing and compression to remove any excess water and then goes into the dump of the truck for the small smoke to land. So we're at step two in the process. We're actually standing on top of a walkway into one of the primary clarifiers. So tell me a little bit about what's going on here. Basically what's going on here is we're providing a quiet time for the wastewater so that we can allow any suspended solids to settle to the bottom of the tank. With step two, you know, there is, there's an odor, there's a smell here, but it doesn't smell as bad as I would expect step two in the process to smell. Why is that? Um, partly because of the way we operate the plant, we've got a special recycle stream that helps us with our odors. This is the third step in the treatment process uh, called the trickling filter. And basically this is where the biological treatment of our wastewater begins. So uh, most of the cleanup is done uh, by a workforce of millions of bacteria and single cell organisms which convert the dissolved materials into solids that we can take out of the stream. In the trickling filter, basically we spread the wastewater from the primary clarifiers over the surface of this plastic media where the bacteria basically live and then they do their job of removing the pollutants from the water itself and then we take that out further downstream. Fourth step in the process basically is following the trickling filter where we just came from. In here, the bacteria don't live on the media. They basically live in an open tank and we provide them with air. And this is the sludge that's been thickened from the primary clarifiers and the solid contact tanks. And we'll be going to the anaerobic digest for stabilization secondary clarifiers and it follows the solids contact tanks and what is happening here is that the solids that are being treated and removed uh, through the trickling filter and the solids contact tanks are allowed to settle to the bottom again like we saw in the primary clarifiers except that these solids return back to the solids contact tanks to recycle the bacteria that are growing in the system so basically uh, the bacteria eat, they get a resting time here, then we put them back into the system to eat again. This is the nitrifying trickling filter. And basically what's happening here, uh, water is distributed across the media surface like you, like, you, like you saw in the trickling filter, except the bacteria here are specific for breaking ammonia down into nitrates. That is their sole job. This process is called denitrification. So what we're doing is we're taking the water from the nitrifying trickling filters, which are high in nitrates, 
and we're using bacteria again and converting the nitrates to nitrogen gas and completing the nitrogen cycle. We're finally at the disinfection part of the process. This is the last piece before this water will flow back into the South Platte River. Adding bleach to the water, the water flow to uh, kill pathogens that may be in the process stream. I'm now standing at the spot where the water coming out of the wastewater treatment facility is flowing back into the South Platte River. This morning, I flushed the toilet. That water went to the treatment facility, and eight hours later, here it is, flowing back into the river. That same water will be used on average another six times before the South Platte River flows out of Colorado. And that's just in our state. So next time you turn on the faucet, you flush the toilet, think about where that water's headed. Thanks for joining me on the trip. See you next time.